We're going to begin with a developing story. Six staff members of Wayne County's only mental health intake facility charged with physically abusing patients and then failing to report it. Shocking. That's what Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy is saying about the allegations of what went on inside the COPE facility in Livonia. Let's get to Sean Lay, who's live with more on this. And compounding matters, Sean, this is the only facility uh, for people in the county to go where they are when they're in desperate need of psychiatric help. The only one. And that is absolutely correct, Devin. And three different patients recently were in crisis, needed help, came here to this facility. Prosecutors say all three were assaulted, viciously assaulted by three different staff members, plus a doctor and nurse knew about these attacks and did not report them. This is a massive investigation unfolding into what's going on behind closed doors here at Detroit Wayne County Health Authority's COPE, Community Outreach for Psychiatric Emergencies. Three employees, including this man, Kyle Jackson, are charged with assaulting, even strangling people in crisis coming here seeking mental health help. But this investigation started at 2 in the morning, March 17th. Police and fire were called here on a report of a fall. The officers arrived. The injuries seemed uh, extremely suspicious on how it was explained. We started our investigation from there, and that led us, after months of the investigation, very extensive, to multiple defendants with multiple charges. Sources telling local Fort Livonia police investigators began to review security camera footage here, showing at least three patients being brutally assaulted here by those three staff members. Today, those three employees were charged with assault and battery, vulnerable adult abuse, and in some cases, assault by strangulation. But there's more. Staff psychiatrist Dr. Hanumaya Bandla and nurse Irma Owens are accused of knowing about the assaults and failing to report the attacks. Back here live, Hagira is the parent company of COPE sending local for this statement this afternoon saying, quote, the individuals in question were terminated as soon as we learned of the incidents in question. We are fully cooperating with police as their investigation progresses. The CEO also went further saying extreme violations of their standards of care were violated here. Devin, Kimberly, back to and, you. And Sean, you're finding that this facility was closed down for a while. When the criminal investigation was launched, the Detroit Wayne Mental Health Authority shut COPE down did a full evaluation, gave them the all clear for weeks, however. It took weeks to uh, happen, and just this past Monday, it was reopened. Yeah. All right, Sean.